Hello, Bobby Bunty, Royal Food City. And today is day 16. What? Oh, today was a good day because there was no school today. And I woke up and I watched a little bit of... This is the Raw Life Help Show. Your life. Brighten up your life. He mentioned what the health and I'm like he's like you know you really gotta watch this documentary and I've seen it before I loved it and I'm like you know what and I know my son caught a few moments of it because I was watching and he was like catching moments and I was like you see you see but anyway he was laying on the couch he just woke up he's playing with his iPad I'm like Bob you gotta watch this you gotta watch this you gotta watch it right through you know from beginning to start Diabetes is not and never was caused by eating a high carbohydrate diet. And he sat and watched the whole thing and man, I know, I know for a fact that a lot of it absorbed this time. Especially at the end when they start going into um, athletes and them improving their health and fitness and longevity and, and um, their uh, stam stamina on the court and with the, whatever sport they're doing. I'm on fire right now. I started my day off with um, a celery juice, one big pint of celery juice. Instant gooseys, felt the power. I was like, oh man, oh man. And then, um, Later on in the day, I had some orange juice, and right now, I'm basically gonna have the master cleanse into, for the rest of the day. So I'll be sipping on that for the rest of the day. But yeah, so celery juice, some orange juice, and some master cleanse. Nothing real crazy. Um, feel good, energy's high. I'm going to the Jerry Petito show. does a, a whole uh, health show on, on she, uh, basically most of her stuff is about health, uh, which is great because she is a recovering addict, you know, and she has a book on that, and um, I'm going to put a link to that below here. She gave me the book signed, thank you, Jerry, so that was nice, and um, I'm going now to her radio show on hamiltonradio.net. You might not be able to catch it this time around because I know it's live, but I think they record it. So you, if you go to HamiltonRadio.net, you might catch the show that we just did tonight. And um, you could always catch it live and call in and talk to me. That'll be fun. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm headed now. I'm heading down to South Jersey to uh, change the world, you know? Because if one person is listening to this radio station tonight and that one person changes their lives through what we're talking about, then that person will change more lives. So it's all about getting that one person. I said it here on this channel many times. If I, I, I could have one sub, and we are celebrating 200 subs. That's pretty cool. Welcome 200, thank you so much. Um, but honestly, if I was talking to one person who got it, who understood what I was talking about, that would be enough for me. And, um, and that's my goal here, is just to keep on inspiring. And I just got this great, uh, I got this great message on one of my videos just now. I just read it, you know, saying how I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an inspiration and I'm a force in the vegan movement. movement. And uh, that, that, that just makes me stronger, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't care if there was negativity too because I know a lot of, a lot of channels, they have problems with the negativity. Bring it on, you know what I'm saying? I, I just hit delete on that, I don't care. I don't care what, what I, I'm like living the dream. You can say anything, no matter to me. I know it's right for me. And I just want to tell other people what I did. That's it. 
So I'm going to show a little bit of the Jerry Petito show too. Uh, we'll record a little bit of that. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Petito. So back back live guys. So I'm hoping tonight's show is a great success. Um, so I just want to tell everybody a little bit about myself. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm the author of I'm Not an Addict, I'm Just an Ass. If you want the truth on addiction, guys, unfortunately every single person out there probably knows someone who's struggling or is struggling themselves. The epidemic is insane. I'm here to help, okay? I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. Um, so you can get in touch with me on Facebook, Jerry Petito, message me, I'm there to help you guys, okay? What our mission here is today, we're hoping to be able to continue with this uh, collaboration, him and I, once a month, um, for as long as Hamilton Radio exists. So we're hoping that this is gonna be something that will inspire everyone and help people out there make healthy choices. Everything changed. I was like, oh my God, this is how you're supposed to feel. I felt like I was 15 again. And I want that for everybody. And that's all I keep doing. And that's why I'm here today. Is if you heard, if you're hearing this and you get inspired, just jump on board. Just stop eating. And it sounds ridiculous to a lot of people, but if you start a juice fast today, watch the miracle that happens in just days. So that wound up being a great show. Um, yeah, we had uh, Jay Miller, the producer of Impractical Jokers, call in. That was fun. Uh, Mid evenings with Jay Miller. You know, I don't know if you guys have seen those videos before, but I was the fat guy on that show and did a lot of video. There's just so much, there's so much, so much to talk about when it comes to mid evenings. And what I mentioned on the show was the whole 10 years, since 2010, so the whole eight years, I've been dreaming of where I am today. So, um, while I was doing mid-evenings as the fat guy, I was subconsciously in my soul and in my heart and in my brain and everything that was me knew I was skinny. Not necessarily skinny, but healthy. Um, I knew I was going to be a different person. So it was funny, like all those videos that we made uh, really was my fat highlight, my unhealthy highlights, per se, you know. And uh, it's so great, glad to be here on this end of it. Um, even though I had a lot of fun being that guy, I really did. I tried to, as much, I lied to myself a lot. To be fun, to have fun, I did lie to myself a lot. So um, it's just nice to see that guy do his thing and this guy do my thing now because he really was a different person. It really was. And uh, so that was nice that Jay called in, one of the producers of Impractical Jokers, and uh, one, of, one of the most entertaining people that I know on the planet. All right? See you in a minute. Lovely Raw Food City. Hello, it's me at Apple, huh? I'm at Apple. Bobby's at Apple. I eat apples. 